You know, all of these things have to... See, what I'm talking about is a latter manifestation. Which is other... Which is anyways... It, it's If anything, it, it doesn't matter. Because what, what I and I is trying to stimulate is, worst case scenario, the need to, to, to just know that fulfilling a simple lifestyle in which you act right is equivalent to manifesting this entity that I'm talking about. It's not to pressure anyone into thinking that, oh, wow, this is a burden. No, the thing is that, like, like I, and I said, we affect the heavens directly. So we don't have to think that we have to for sure pressure ourselves to, that'll come along if it be the will of God or not. These words are not to like foresee into the future. It's to really secure firm and to and to validate the present in that. Wow, I got to work towards something very important to give a sense of professionality to our to our lives, so that we don't take it for granted to know that. Yeah, that's a purpose that I think each individual or human being seeks to feel important. No, but right now, right now is like the direction. Yeah, 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 and and part of it is because of us trying to do too much when really it's doing it's doing the little first. See all of this responsibility, and give thanks for that because I need I need I need to um, remind ones of that in in Spanish and stuff like that because I, I have forgotten to say that. See the see the main focus would be that no, I do say it oftentimes that listen when you feel like you want to do something. And you need to do something. I've I've always told you know the fe the fellowship in Spanish the best thing we could ever do is just sit down for a second and just study the Bible. Yeah. You we have no idea what that does. See that's what we were made for. We were made to study the Bible. And I tell ones that listen, I have to battle this because I'll get a million ideas in my head as to what to do. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. And then I have to. Think for a second. That's where, that's where the ref, like, not only the refuge, but I don't, but it's like something just happens when, like, you know, it's like there's no the time, just like, there's no time, like, I'm not saying there's no time, like, because I haven't really, I understand what you're saying, too, about there's no time, but, um, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's the time as we know it is measured in, in breadth and length or whatever, in, in, in spaces, in the, in the, in the different dwelling places. Well, that's that's what it is. See, it's. I think I'm like a little overboard with it. No, 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 no. See, that's that's see that's like Israel contaminating themselves with the Midianites. The Midianites are not evil, Wyndham. The Midianites are are what do you call it when they're they could be this, they could be that. What is it like? Um, uh, neutral. Everybody has Midianites in them. We all have the sensual nature. See. During the, 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 the events of, of Balak and Balaam, the Midianites had been had been um had been smitten by the king of by the king of Edom. By the king of Edom. That's the difference. That's the that's the difference. And chapter thirty six of, of the book of Genesis, I think that's the chapter, it it, it it says it. It says it very clearly. Watch, I'm gonna just go to it really quick because because that'll 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 help, like, um, put things in, in in a better view. And it's um, verse verse thirty three says, and Bella died, and Jobab, the son of Zerah of Bozrah, reigned in his stead. And Jobab, let's see, no, it's verse thirty five. It says, and Husham died, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab. So remember, they're in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of the city was Avit. 
So these are the kings of Edom. It says, verse 31 begins with, And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. There wasn't supposed to be a king for Israel because we're not like other people. We are a people that every single one of us acts as a Malek, as an angel. Each one of us. When we decided to institute one king, it was kind of like, it was a smart move and for, but if it would have been normal people, but for us it was trying to be smart, smart, smart asses, but acting stupid. It's like, let's make one responsible for all of our wrong deeds, kind of, you know, like, like just immature, well, so that we can blame everything on one. And I'm not saying that's what they thought, but it could be interpreted like that. Really? So I think this, because Yahweh was, right? Because what? In Huh? Because what? Yahweh what? Yahweh, Yahweh was king of Israel. Exactly. The, the people was looking towards all the other people who and, were kings and was like, yo, we want a king. Oh, that's what I'm saying, that they contaminated themselves by thinking that they were like everyone else. So, it, you know, that doesn't matter. I just mentioned that because it says in verse 31 that these are the kings of that reigned in the land of Edom, you know, and then it makes mention that that reigned any king before there reigned any king um, over the children of, of Israel. So I'm just saying because it just so happens that no king reigns over the children of Israel nowadays. That means, and I'm not saying that His Majesty's authority is not not in hand. It means that we are the hand of the authority. So we are in the place of the king, which is that means that the that that the the, what's it called? The responsibility of the king is in turn get handed to his people. And we're his people. That means that we represent the kingship because we become priest king. Yeah. You see? And so what does that do? That means that each one of us are direct angels, meleks. We become kings. We become maleks. And therefore we constitute a body in which every representative affects the heavenly judgments, you know? And so, anyways, I was trying to go to, to median, to median, to median. We cannot contaminate ourselves with others, and then we think that, no, the, about the Bible. See, the world will tell you that studying the Bible, and the women will tell you that studying the Bible is a waste of time, but you're not here to satisfy women. You're not here to satisfy the world. And I say that very straightly because I told Baruch, and Baruch had a very hard time, when and Baruch had a very hard time accepting this. And it wasn't until days later that I still kept talking about it. He was like, I understand now. I understand I don't like it and stuff like that. I understand. Adam was not supposed to have a woman. He contaminated himself with the, with the, with the ways of the world. He was the woman. He was man and woman. But because he saw normal people mating and having relationships, going two with two and stuff like that, he started thinking things. And because all authority over creation was given to him, guess what? Jah has to create what he's thinking. So he, he contaminated the Shabbat. Instead of meditating on his word and, and multiplying, that is teaching the people to be spiritual. Helping the people, the souls of the of the world, to come to come at one, to be one, to learn, to get them to be like him, to get them to go to John. That was what he was supposed to do. But no, he got contaminated, so he started wanting to be like everyone else. And since every other animal, but we've been raised above the animal, and endowed with reason and intellect, to reason intelligently on how to serve him, and in doing so, then we would have inevitably learn the way to serve one another, serve our fellows within the human community, but no, we wanted to be like animals, so Adam is like contemplating, I need a woman, I need a woman I need a woman, so Jah, what he did in, in his grace and mercy, he's all like if I don't do anything about this he's going to mix up and, and just destroy any chance of salvation, he's probably going to go lay with an animal so what he do, he put them to sleep and then he took from his own side a woman. And even further evidence of how this is completely true is the fact that Adam, what does he do? What do you do when you're going to create something? You, you call something, then you name it? Well, he called and named Eve because he was like him. But what did he name her once he was in 
when he learned from his lesson and he was faithful, Eve, mother of all living, see his interpretation of his, of Jah's word at the beginning was completely wrong, and he had to learn that. Oh my gosh, so when when the world will tell you that reading the Bible is stupid, the world will tell you that to study Torah is stupid. The world will want you to do anything else but that. But you got to remember that you were not made for anything else. You were not made to waste your time with being a professional athlete. You were not made to waste your time even for being a, a, a reporter or for being a, a book writer or for being a musician. I, I know how to play music and you know how often I play it whenever I just really feel like doing it. 5-15 minutes, that's it. I get my fix and I get away from that. I'm not going to waste my life playing a guitar because that's not what I was made for. I'm not going to play piano in my life. I like to play sports. Maybe I'll run for a little bit. I'll get a fix and then remind myself that that's not what God made you for. So I'm just emphasizing the fact that, that the world will keep you from studying Torah. But that's what we were made for. We were made to reveal the secrets of Torah. Otherwise, what for? What does Torah serve the world if, if there's no one to interpret it? How can I know unless someone show me? That's what the eunuch said. Philip was like, hey, you understand what you're reading? How should I? Come here, you know, like show me what's up. Teach me. I know that, that I'm not stupid. I know some things, but I also know that, that there's some people that are born for this. Perhaps he may be that kind of one. So what did Philip do? He, he gave the body a soul. It's like he gave Philip what the fullness. See, Philip knew the person. The eunuch knew the word. So Philip gave life to the person in the word. And, and the eunuch was like, Yeshua? Because I, I have no doubt in my mind that he knew who he was. Personally. Just not intimately. Everybody knew who Yeshua was. He, Philip just probably had to say, you know that one dude that stood up in the feast, in the great feast, and he yelled out in the middle of the, in the temple, all those that thirst come to me? It's very obvious to, to, to know. Listen, no, this is like a high holy day, dude. And, and then someone stands up in the middle of the, of the synagogue or whatever, and he yells out, everyone that thirsts, come to me. You know? And says something like that, you best know that even if you're not too close to see his face like in, in full detail, you still know who they're talking about. <laughs> you know, because this everybody went to Jerusalem, all the Jews, right? And it's order. I mean, Jews are not even even if we were going at it the wrong way. Jews are not savages or right? just drinking and you know like no there's order in the synagogue and stuff like that it's not like thanksgiving or something people getting drunk you know like having sex in the restroom or whatever no it's 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 not well maybe that's what check it out that even kind of fits in with what the media with what um finjas did imagine that it was like thanksgiving you know instead of praising god people in the restroom you know doing the thing that is not clean or kosher and then People wilding out in the kitchen, you know, the the homeboys getting drunk in the in the front yard, the women talking all kinds of evil about their neighbors in the backyard. So, you know, it wasn't Thanksgiving. And he, so what I'm trying to say is that the eunuch was very well aware of of kind of kind of like had an idea what was going on. If anything, he would have seen him a few times, you know, even if in the feast he was coming back from the feast, you know. So. That's the, and and anyways, there's this one point where where in the Bible it says, and there were certain certain um certain uh, Greeks that desired to speak to to Yeshua, and it, they came to John and to Philip, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I, I I'm very sure, and I have no doubt that that the Ethiopian eunuch it wasn't the first time he met Philip. It probably wasn't the first time. I mean, that even sounds like a conversation of, Hey, buddy, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. You know, like, hey, do you know what you're reading? It's like, behold, a unit. I mean, behold, an Ethiopian. It's like, whoa, whoa, what's so, what's so special about that? It's like, behold, the Ethiopian. Remember your homeboy? The one, you're, the one that wanted to see Yeshua privately? The one that asked? And the reason I say Greek is because Greek is like this, um, it's only... It's this idea of a Hellenistic like mindset, 
and even though Ethiopia was not Hellenistic because of the trade and because of the power of, of the Ethiopian um, kingdom at that time, uh, Greek was used. They were they they probably did know how to speak Greek, and plus I've I've heard information to the extent that that the coin of Greek is a Hebrew Greek. That 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 actually like Greek. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. Like so, when it and there's also evidence in the Acts of the Apostles where it says that that um and you can't learn this in the English, but when you read in the Amharic, not that I know the Amharic, but it just so happens that I that for something made me like think like read it in the Amharic because it sounds kind of weird. Um, when they institute actually the seven that are supposed to look over the widows, or uh, you know when they institute Stephen and 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 other uh, another six um they say that because the Jews of Judea were were no the Jews of the Greeks the Jews of Greek were criticizing the Jews of Judea for for not taking care of the of the of the widows or something what it was saying is that the the Greek speaking Jews were criticizing the Hebrew speaking Jews because the Hebrew was spoken amongst like a very few because they kind of like kept it they made it into like a like a you know like one of those um esoteric secret society things so it wasn't like not everyone not all the jews could speak um you know like the 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 more the more um at that time more ancient hebrew or the more original so anyways yeah i kind of you know i'm just gonna wrap it up because i'm yeah just i i lost track of, of what exactly i wanted to say i, I just wanted to Yeah. A lot, I, a lot of things that I you want. Yeah, I just feel kind of like disappointed because I actually just wanted to speak about the, the the how the the May fifth becomes like the eighth day. It's it, it becomes okay. I'll add this. And and I give thanks because the I mentioned that that space and time is still like very active, and that's true. The reason I say the end of the time. It's because for us, we no longer have night. Because we become an atonement during the Pesach, and we become the light bringer. We become the light bringer in the great day of the Holocaust, which is the remembrance of the heroi, of the heroes. You see, Fasika, or Pesach, is to be our independence day. And the reason I say that this is one day with the atonement is because it's the one day that liberates us from sin, above all. So when we are caught up in the spirit, when His Majesty says, Today is the day that we have defeated a formidable enemy, you know? Today is a day of rejoicing our hearts. And when I say rejoice our hearts, I say let it rejoice in no other spirit, but in the spirit of our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, in the spirit of Christ. He's all like... Take care not to spoil the good name, the good land, that this good creation of Ethiopia, by you know by rewarding. Do not reward evil for evil, because today we have established the truth that e that that good is far surpasses it far surpasses evil, but it must be good, because we are not judging our enemy. We are showing compassion. We are bringing down the highest forces of the heavenlies to the hardest bondage on earth, which is the only thing that could break the spell. The only thing that could break this hard bondage on earth is the highest strength of compassion, mercy, and, and just um, clemency from above. So do not reward evil for evil. We have disarmed the enemy, and they, they will be sent from whence they were, from whence they came, so Hashaitan is being sent down to 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 the earth. It's like we're in heaven now. We're above the clouds. Satan has been removed from heaven because now you have clarity that good will always reign supreme above evil. That's why. And then, and you know, later on, he said, "It is good that you are here in my palace garden, in the Garden of Eden, where I reign." At Addis Abeba, in this new birth, in this new Chodesh, even this new moon, this new sacrifice, and is in, in this new blood, 
in this new woman's menstruation of the greatest Shabbat, of the greatest rest, in this conjugal, conjugal, what do you say that? Like, um, with the, this coming together, this union of a woman and a man coming together as one, you know. So, because people that see this throughout the world will realize that even in the 20th century, David will still, with faith, courage, and a just cause, David will still be Goliath. So basically, it's like a, a like just a, a very interesting like scenario of, of, of the whole, a, a recap of how good has triumphed over evil. And so now earth is able to, to exist because there's, because of the, of the, of the mercy that had been brought down from the heights of heaven to the suffering bondage of earth. And so what that becomes, it, it becomes a, a, a state in which we are free from the burdens of, of hard bondage. You know, Eshemayim or Beshemayim, in the fire and in the waters, in the beginning, when you spoke and I heard you because I spoke and you heard, when there's a reciprocal cre creation, then you are above and not baptized with the flames of fire, but you are in, in the waters above. And then to you there is no longer day or night. Because you you would have received just words of, of, of comfort as your teaching tool. As to living a hard experience of bondage to you know to grow. Because then we are in in, in the Ark of the Covenant seeking out the treasures of Torah. We're in the we're we're in the chest, just seeking out like, oh, look at this, look at this watch, look at this, at these gold gold rings, look at these pearls, look at the. So we're digging into like the like the the the, the riches of heaven, and because we're doing that, we don't have to like learn hard experiences on earth anymore, like we did before, where we had to suffer and, and die many times to just because like because we were like doing like the wrong things. So then that becomes an eighth day. That becomes like, it's not the beginning of days. It's not the end, it, end of days. It's like a day that is above this whole cycle where, where you have like, you have seed time, you know, the, the period of growth and then reaping time and then you go into heart and then you go into winter. We don't have that because after the day of, of atonement and the feast of trumpets and, and the feast of booths or tabernacles, we still get to reap and we still get to plant every day, even throughout the winter. There's no longer, there's nothing stopping us, no day, no night throughout the whole year from from um, from studying Torah because we're free from the cycles of sin. It doesn't mean that like that we're not going to age and that night isn't going to be there. It's like just a just kind of like a, a, a symbolical like um, representation of how we we've we've um, gone beyond you know like the um, the natural you know cycle of life. We are in a we are the Shabbat is spiritual, but we've entered into into an octave, a higher level of the spiritual. Yeah, yeah, like, and I have to repeat this, and I and I've even told the eye the same thing. I've not once said that the other feasts are invalidated. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and I've even said this like. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, and that's that's a blessing that the eye bring it up because actually, because the eye has already mentioned this, and I said the same thing, I, 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 like, I take care to say that, like, in my presentations, I say, okay, but, but, um, have in mind that I'm not replacing the other feast, like, the other feast continue to be celebrated, it, it's just that, it's a recognition of, of, like, 
of of a special of an emphasis of of who is his people well who who you know who did he give a special day to who did he um you know dedicate or livicate like a a, a great day you know a great day where all this is is like kind of represented in, in symbolically in in one time period you know because because when is our independence day see pesach is an independence day it's it's the beginning of calendars. It's the, the beginning of days for a nation, for a new nation. So like that's why that's why it's important to recognize that His Majesty said today is a new day where we have gotten rid of our enemy. So we're in, we're free again. We're independent, but we're not only in the physical, but we're we're free from sin because that's where I left off. Give thanks because I've cast down Satan out of heaven. That means there's no adversary in heaven. Now you can receive the fullness. Now you can see how how you know you can be able to discern the lies from the wrong, the lies from the truth because now you have me as a living example. The 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 king of kings, you know, as a living example of how he fixed and just cleaned up the mess that was in heaven that was distorted because otherwise we'd still be tripping on on oh yes, this crystals can't be true of slavery and this and that and so so he cleared that all up. It's like a it's an octave it's a new day. It's like the eighth day doesn't really exist. It's like starting a new week, a new strongs. But it's like it's the same tone, but at a higher vibration, at a higher um, frequency. Like in uh, in octave when you play a note. It's like like the the pianos only have seven keys. So the eighth key is the octave to the first note. It's just, yeah, it's the same thing, same thing, but but um, but it just sounds a little bit higher because it's vibrating at a more rapid um, frequency, velocity. You know how how they, you know, measure like wavelengths. It just it just rings more often in the same amount of space time, and and so it it sounds different, but really it's the same note, just higher, and and that's basically kind of like um, what the eight day would become. You know, because to me, really, like, it, those words resonate, you know, like, what is resonate? Kind of like a vibration, just kind of like, you know, today is a day, you know, like, that, that whole time period that we have defeated the enemy. Like, I am, I am who I am, and you don't have to be confused about who I am. Christ is who he is, and you, you can believe in him because I trust in him, and, and because we is one and stuff like that. And so it becomes very, like, it becomes the testimony of a, of a, of a righteous judgment, you know, like that the scriptures are fulfilled. Even Hafa Sikaron is interesting. You know, when when the Jews, the European Jews that abide in, in like in the state of Israel, where they have that place called Tel Aviv and all that Jerusalem. Well, they actually for the year 2016, they their their celebration of their independence was like May 5th, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. They they. They don't know, otherwise, you know, like, they, that'd be really bad, but they study the Bible enough to get hints at this. They don't just pick those dates, like, randomly. They try to pick the dates as closely as possible as to what, as to what the, the you know, the Rebbe's and all that, you know, they've concluded that are, that these days are going to happen. So... Even even if not for, for the testimony of a true and faithful, just add to that the fact that, that you know, the state of Israel is, is pretty much, you know, they, they're on to something in that, you know, and what do they call it? They call it um, Yom HaShoah, like in the, in, the, in, the, in the shortened version, but it's Ha Fasikaron. So it's like Ha Fasikaron. And that is to be translated as the remembrance, right? Well, let's, that's interesting because what do you pass over? Passover in the Amharic is Fasika, right? Pesach, Pasika, Fasika, Pasik, Pesach, Pesach, Pasika, Pesach. It's the remembrance or the passing over of Haron, of the light. The keeping of the light, but the passing over of the knowledge, like the, the the remembrance or the keeping the oral tradition, you know, keeping the light on, because uh, Aaron is the light bringer. So the bringer of the remembrance 
of the great day of um, Yom HaShoah, the great holocaust, the great sacrifice, you know. And Ha Vegebura, and of the heroes, of the of the Herui, of the of the mighty men, the ones that have become, you know, the ones that that fight the good fight of of faith. All, all, not only in this time, not only presently living, but the but the ones that have lived and keep living, you know. So, so th that title, Ha Fasikaron Yom Hashua Ha Vegebura, is very interesting, and they just happen to celebrate it on May fifth, and it just kind of like coincides with all these kind of things that I'm learning. And, and and it's just very difficult not to say that that this, this, this whole this whole this whole cycle is, um, <laughs> dates are really really interesting, you know. Well, it's it's culmination, you know, culminations of like of of a consummation of of you know a t a time period where 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 you know the veils are removed and and a lot becomes revealed. It, in fact, <laughs> it's a revelation. Yo, Wyndham, I, I, I know writing takes a long time. I know it. Like, that's why I, I try to stay away from it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in one mind according to that that's why that's why I, I try not to write because it, it takes a long time it's very time consuming it really is now that's interesting because it brings to mind the Aleph Tau and the Ein Tau Eight, well no I think Eid with the D with the Dalif is, is actually like it, it referencing to time but yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, no, no, no. But I mean, with the aleph and then a dalit, you know, like like aid. I think it's assembly or at a special time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like also like a like moed, moed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like anything with aid or aid is like a um like a testimony or a, um, it's also like a a con you know a, a congregation or a testimony or that's what I've learned in the Hebrew studying it. Like it, but, but fixed, like it, it has an element of fixed at a certain time, I think. Oh, odd, yeah, odd, odd. So, yeah, two, two, it's like to a certain point. So, what I was kind of thinking is like the, because cause I kind of like, I, I, I wouldn't know how to bring it together, but I'm, I do, I, I am knowledgeable in the fact that there's an, there's, um, there's a way to utilize Aleph. Tau as et, which seems to be like um, it's you know like ones have a, uh, you know not too clear on exactly how to how to receive that, and there's an ein tau, the the ein tau you know to the best that I've been able to read just you know just on the blue letter, how how they try to explain it that it would be kind of like day two like also them, like like um. And the actual like reference that they give to is like, ye Kushites will you too will be you know like I'm slain by my sword, and that's not that bad of an example because considering the fact that there's um there's like a a, a dark side to the to, there's a dark element like when you say ye too who are you talking about else if you're directing the the you know the information to me it's like if you tell me like if. If I'm before you and you say you too, Alonzo will pay, right. then I would be kind of like, who else? The other person. Yeah, who's the other person? So, but then also, you know, like, well, anyways, the reason I bring that, that I bring that forward is because um, Moses also says so that you be in, in, eyes instead, you know, instead of eyes for us instead of eyes. So it, I'm not saying that that connects directly with um with the ein tell, but ein if you know if if we use it as the eye, and then aleph as the mouth, and tau a cross and the cross of the mouth and the cross of the 
of the eye. It just kind of the the thing that I was going to bring about is kind of like this audio visual sense. You have a you have a visual and you have an, a, a mouth testimony, like to carry the cross of the of the vision and, and the mouth. The, the, the Aleph would be the head, I think, right? And then the the pet is the mouth, like the off. Well, yeah, I get, yeah. You, you know what? You're right. That's what. That's what was. Um, it, it was kind of throwing me off. You, I, you're right about the head, but I was thinking off. But I guess you're right. In in the in the Hebrew, they would say pe. In the Amharic, it's off. Whatever. Like now, it's interesting. Cause now, like it changes. Before it, it, it was like a certain signal in the Torah for a word coming from. Well, this is what I noticed from like coming from Yahweh. Would be like, uh, like you would command with like Tao or something like that. Like this is a command, and then in this book, in the book of Numbers, it seemed like it changes to whenever a commandment is given, it's like pet, like directly from the mouth. Hmm. <clears throat> well, here, oh, let's see. Let let's see if this makes sense because I didn't even write it down correctly. Resh. Resh. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's not. Let's see. I have here Alev, He, and Dalet. What does that mean? Uh, no, that's a Hadu. That's a Hadu. That's not. That's not. That's a Had. My bad. Th that's not what I was um, what I was thinking about. I was thinking about Ras, 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 Ras. In uh, Resh, in the in the Reds, I think Reds. It's Rosh, He, and Zion in the in in the Aramaic, and I've heard an interpretation that, um, you know, according to even I might as well say um, the the dude's name or the Rebbe's name, it's uh, you know um, Shimon Bar Yochai. Rebbe, you know, he's supposed to be the composer of um, of the Zohar, Zohar. So he explains it like, er, Ras, He, and Zain, that these things are that the Ras and the Zain are the secrets that give you the answers to the He. And the He is like the, I guess like the, I'm, you know, because the I said head, but it all comes down to the same thing, which would be like, well, the expression of 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 the extrasensorial like um like a witness so that the witness or the the evidence that's received in heaven can be can be um made manifest on earth that's interesting the, the, yeah. kind of like that in the sense that listen one of the, one of the very important things to recognize is that you know in in and I'm learning that apparently friend is superior to a son Apparently a slave is like a first level, son is a second level, a brother is a third level, and then you have like a, a, a pinnacle of, of, you know, like a, a extreme, you know, like a, a higher level, I guess, kind of, of a friend. And, in you know, at first it kind of sounds kind of weird, right? But this is what, well, Abraham is considered a friend at, his, at a latter stage in his development. And then, but the thing is, in, in verse chapter eighteen, book of Genesis, verse um, what is it like verse seventeen? He, he said, "It says, and the Lord said, shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do?" So he's contemplating. Jah is contemplating. Like, should I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. So it's a question mark. He's thinking about it. For I know him. So the intimacy, you know, the friendship. That he will command his children and his house, household after him. So I'm just pause right there. It doesn't finish. But it just seems like he's saying like, yeah, he's going to tell him. You know, he's going to tell everyone. So what, what, what good is it for me to tell someone that's not going to say anything? Anything. Because then I might as well not tell nobody. 
Because he, if he's gonna keep it like a like a if he's gonna keep it like a greedy person keeps a uh, you know a pot of gold or something, I, I might as well not tell him. So Abraham was so basically it's kind of like a, you know one one very practical very like you know just um everyday um lesson that we could learn from that is that Jah desired those that that just. Just like they they receive and they're telling everyone they don't really care. Just like hey, you know what? I heard about his majesty and and you're not even interested in being rejected or whatever. Although you know, although as time passes by, you kind of you kind of learn to to target a better audience. You know, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but but you know to be a little bit more efficient. To be more efficient. I mean, it's not even that you trying to. Oh, these people wouldn't understand or whatever. But you know, you just kind of like you mature a little bit. And you realize that well, you know, I better. Yeah, you give you give the feeding like milk to be. Yeah, you you know, you work your way. You you learn as best as possible how to go about. But you know, at one point in time, whatever whatever they can receive of it, because it's still you know. Yeah. So good that they receive something of it. <laughs> but it's still very important, like like I was saying that that Abraham was considered like no, he's gonna tell everyone, he's gonna make sure everyone knows in his household what's up. So yeah, I'm gonna tell him, you know, like he's just meditating. I mean, in reality, that's a revelation for us. I mean, what difference does it make in what he's actually doing, other than than hey, this is an opportunity, you know, to tell my ones in the future that listen, I like, I like, I enjoy, and I and I receive those that receive what I give them, but that are very very comfortable with. With um, communicating, how else is this going to be spread? I mean, he's not on YouTube, you know, he's not like on internet. Obviously, Abraham had to transmit the information somehow. Is by and so the, the, what I'm trying to say is that I don't know the audio visual. It, I guess you got me with the whole like pe, but I was kind of thinking that I was kind of thinking that the that the audio video system that's been established be, because in a way. The framework to um to a to a website being being crawled by spiders like they call it and being um like being measured out by the um by the computer system or whatever the internet system it, it begins to recognize things in like in a as a as a like a, a body like a, as a government. It begins to like check the website, and then if everything's legit, if what you claim is and what you're doing, it's it's accurate, and everything seems to be in line. It's like you start ranking up higher, like as a as an entity. And if the links connect, and if you're you got more important links, and if you got more um, like a stronger foundation in the sense that your titles to your pages actually. Um, reflect what you're what you're writing, and the pictures are accurate to what you're putting out. And so, if if all the information starts to link up, and it it, it becomes it, it becomes to to it starts to rank higher. And so, it, it's like setting up a a community in 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 like the internet in this whole dimension of an of a you know this whole different realm of a of an internet connection. And so, what I was My idea since the beginning was no. We actually, if anything, if we could purchase a satellite, <laughs> a satellite to which we can actually like have a channel for ourselves and we control everything and we just broadcasting like stuff for us and we have one space in, in the internet that everyone could go to and then and to make it very easy, let's say just just press LOJ and it'll link you to everything that we have. Then that makes it very easy to access. It don't matter Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, you know, like, you know, Portuguese, or whatever. It's all going to be linked to this one place, so it makes it very easy for... It doesn't... You don't have to remember a thousand links, so... So, you know, but but that really is... You know, that's... Yeah, I link with the Rastafari in Japan, and I'm going to ask them if they... Because I'm going to start outsourcing translations. Oh, like you were trying to do it... Uh, I don't know how, how that go with the... Uh, for... Remember the Italian... I never, I never got a response from them, and maybe the email's outdated. Um, 
uh, I don't know if, if Brother Yadon has contact with them. I, like, I, uh, I don't know. I, I never received any. You know, I got a message back from the Facebook page and it said, Are you interested in, in, in uh, books from... from I was like, nope. <laughs> it was just, I guess, kind of like this automatic um, respond thing that they probably have or something. So, no, I was just... Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, part of the thing that we could... You know, we we are still learning. That's that's yeah. inevitable. But we seem to think that 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 somehow like we have to like I don't know bring down the moon and hand it to someone. It, no, it just become it just begins with um with just a simple you know Ali Selassie first this is the emperor the king of kings of Ethiopia. He was born this date. Uh, an interesting fact. I mean, just an interesting fact. Usually, what I do. When when it's just random people or whatever, I'm like, uh, you want to know something very interesting? Where when did why did World War Two start? Uh, I don't know, cause Nazi Germany and Hitler. No, it started in Ethiopia. Right off the bat, you're you're like, what, what, uh, what? Something so simple, something so most people will not care though, but that but still they know that what like th they. They do give us get a sense of like what like are you serious like I don't care but but what you know like like I didn't know that what like no you're like you must be lying I mean nobody's ever said that I mean I've never heard that it's not in a book it's not in TV why would you say that so just something so simple like that and and I find that not that I tested it I just that's what I think and I've always thought that that's Hey, how do I get someone's attention? Well, what are the most important events that have happened to the last hundred years? I would say that World War II pretty much is like, I know a lot of things have happened, but that was a pretty like, that was that was a very dangerous time. You know, that would be that we could consider that as hey, if we should say like what time space was more important to remember, I would say World War II. And what is it that we should know most about? Well, if you want to keep something so threatening from happening, then I would study up World War II to not let it happen again. Right. Now, we don't seem to think that way, but because probably we see that nothing has changed, we haven't learned anything, so it's like, what, what, what does it matter to talk about World War II? Well, that's why I find so interesting and like a hook to be like, hey, you know, World War II started in, in Ethiopia. And then that's like, wait, wait, we don't know. We don't know it all. You know, some, obviously something's up. What do you mean in Ethiopia? What are you talking about? They, they have nothing to do with the war. No, and it even could have been prevented. What? How? Well, because, you know, behold, the king of kings. And so, you know, usually like when I'm just talking to like very broad, just people like that it's it's something that the whole world could relate to because because the whole world has to know about the time of world war ii even if they know a little bit so to tell them that that you're going to reveal to them something they have no idea about the most important time in history if anything i would say that that gives you a chance to 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 hook them at least interested or something and and plus we don't have to speak another language you know i've put out messages to go to haiti before just to prove that, you know, I could do my part. And, I, you know, Jai gives you the ability to not have to do the part or play the part that maybe you're not prepared to play. But he allows us to, to, to solve, to, to find solutions to problems as how to help. So I figured, okay, 
I don't. Let's say I, I'm not. Let's say I knew how to speak Haitian or whatever, but I'm not like I don't know that well or whatever. So what? Okay, I'll do this. I know that there's that I can speak Spanish, so I don't speak Haitian, whatever. And I'm saying this for the eye too, so you don't have to feel pressure that you have to speak like in another tongue or whatever. It's not necessary. Just other people speak that tongue and speak English. So I'm just thinking like, okay, I'll put out a video, and one of one of the the one of the pages on the book has um on one of the books has a uh, has the graphic design that I did as a cover for or as a video still for that presentation to Haiti. It, it's like okay, here's my shout out. Uh, half of the island of Haiti is the Dominican Republic, and they speak Spanish. So I'm telling everyone that speaks Spanish, and I'm not expecting for ones in the Dominican Republic to hear me out because it's a little bit different there. But I'm calling everyone out that speaks Spanish everywhere else. Now, you have to contact somehow if someone's have family, have friends, have whatever. You have to contact, and it's very difficult to believe that a Dominican Republican don't know how to speak Haitian or there's no connect somehow. You know, so just using like means like that, because I come from a place where in Mexicali, like I, I wasn't raised or born there, but it was right next. It was the next town, you know, although it was like south of the border, but that's where my grandma lived and stuff. So when I'd go to Mexicali, if I'd go to like the, the local mall or whatever, there'd be like hundreds, well, not hundreds, but tens and tens of like of oriental food restaurants and each one of them had people from the orient that was super different from the next shop you know and they all spoke different oriental languages but their children also spoke spanish so i'm just i'm just like bringing that up because like i recognize the fact that okay the parents most of them do know spanish but they speak their languages amongst their own and they all speak different ones so they're, I'm not going to say that, oh, they all look alike, they're all the same. No, I know that they're all different. So, and, and then on top of that, it's like their children speak Spanish because they go to school here. So what's to, st there's always a way. Just like, hey, could you, could you tell, you know, your neighbor this, please, you know, just as a favor. Could you tell them that, 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 you know, if you could please look up on um, Rastafari, you know, kind of then, you know, sure, why not, you know. So there's kind of ways to, to link into communities. And so what the eyes expressing concerning um, uh, that family is, is exactly what I've, what I've thought before. There's ways. There's ways to communicate. Maybe you can't communicate directly, but through technology, there's ways that, that others could for you. So there's, you know, there's different ways. The thing that, that I don't like because Sinai has been over it, because Sinai has been enslaved by it my whole life up until now, is is thinking that, that there's not a way. Like saying that something's stupid. I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Saying that, no, 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 like not this, not like that. No, no, that's the problem. See... The mind has to be free from any from any like restrictions. Honestly, I don't know how this comes about. It comes about from above. But but before nothing was possible for me. Everything was excuses, excuses, excuses. But nowadays it's like I I, I try to be careful not to come up with excuses. Cause cause it's just like no, because actually Ja honestly like he he allows you to think of certain things. But, but, you know, then again, I do focus only on, on finding solutions to, like, what I'm looking for in the Bible. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about, like, how to find solutions to my life or how to get this, how to get that. I'm really not thinking about that. I'm just trying to, how does, how does this connect, you know, and, and what is this? <laughs> no, really, that's what, that's what I care about. Yeah, no, worries, man. And, and that's, and you know what, that is the blessing. Don't we should not ever let anyone um, make us think otherwise because that's robbing the world of their inheritance. The world needs a people that study Torah because otherwise the secrets will never be revealed. When, when we are the type of people that that just studying is enough, we don't have to fix the world. The world will be fixed by the higher powers that be. We have to reveal the secrets. We have to just, and not get like a million hits. 
No, we have to be comfortable with getting five hits. You know, really what it is, it's like we got to be a body constituted of a people that just praise and worship Jah. Not because other people is going to like listen to us or anything. No, other people are going to get fixed when we fix, when we get fixed ourselves. Because what will happen is like, and I've said this over and over and over, because when we discover like secrets that otherwise would never be revealed to any other person that is not spiritual, and because we have the fullness of, of the, the spirit of prophecy of the revelation of this time, then no one else will receive. Like, for example, I learned from... from um, this individual Albert Gozlan, Gol, uh, you know, he, he, he teaches um, uh, the secrets of the Zohar, and I like him because he's very like, he he just goes into the teachings, you know, he's not pushing, not even in his, his he's a Jew, no doubt. Um, and he was born in Jew and all that kind of stuff, but he he's not teaching like Israel, and not, he don't even get into none of that. He, he's just going into like, he studied Zohar for a long time, and, and, and he's he feels that that the secrets have to be revealed in this time, and so he's doing. He's been doing the classes since like I don't know how many years now. So and 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 just to just to bring forth like a a team, and and just like study up actually like a society because those people are the same people that have been like since the beginning like in two thousand I don't know like before like two thousand eleven he started doing the teaching and he's barely like. He's barely in the book of numbers. So, you know, so, but anyways, I learned a lot from him. But the thing is that most of the things that he's saying, he only helps me to rearrange like a, a, a grammar or a language of how, of what I'm talking about. But everything that he talks about, I've actually like already like, um, uh, you know, like taught on. He just helps me to put a name to it and kind of like a little bit more clarity as far as how to describe it to myself. Because I'm just describing experiences that describe these these truths. What I'm trying to say is that even him and stuff like that, he doesn't know the fullness. He knows that what he does is powerful and he knows that just by doing what he does, it's opening up the, the portals in heaven to release the rains. But, but even his testimony is not half as strong as ours because we have, we have been raised through the floods... Up to a point where we look out the window and we can see Christ, you know, like right there. So when we speak on on the the, the secrets that are revealed, it's like it open it opens up like doors in heaven that release winds of true doctrine, and then people just randomly throughout the world could be caught up with these winds and then just wake up one day and feel like I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna YouTube Ethiopia tonight. Or today, you know, just for no reason. But because that energy has been, has been, has been, it's been spoken into creation. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been created. And so now people can get caught up into like, hey, you know, I've, I've seen some people with dreadlocks. I'm feeling like dreadlocks today, you know. I wonder what that means. Just, just something so simple like that. We don't have to feel, we don't have to like know exactly how, how nature is going to handle it. We just got to know that our, our coming together... Just revealing the secrets, learning and, and growing is, is sufficient. Because it gives life to, to what otherwise is unknown. Nobody, nobody's going to know this. Nobody's going to know anything about His Majesty or the line of Judah. Except for the people that have been called to do that. So, you know, so... But anyways, it's we've been talking for a while. The I want to get some... Oh, yes, 